you're in the business of putting solar on the roofs of commercial buildings, then you know how important it is to get the ballast right or the attachments right. And you know that that depends on the wind loads that you have. Um, so getting good wind loads is absolutely critical to winning jobs and having a safe system. Rays have been damaged, systems have been blown off the roof or into pile in the corners. So how do you get accurate wind loads? Well, I'm going to talk to you in a few minutes about a, a tool that can do that for you. But before we get there, uh, I need to talk about the complexity of the flow up there. You can't just take your ray, put it on the ground, blow wind across it, and say, well, I'm good up to 90 miles an hour because it didn't move. The flow environment on the roof is quite complicated. There are swirling vortex flows that interact with, differently with the systems depending where they are on the roof and how they're tilted and whether there's a parapet and other parameters. So you need good results. And we were approached by SEAC a few years ago to apply that understanding to a set of rules that would be standardized and used. And based on uh, the wind loads that we'd measured, we came up with a system that would uh, allow you to calculate fairly accurately what these loads are. Um, and they'd introduced a lot of novel concepts. The loads change with the size of the building, for example, uh, unlike the loads on the roof itself. You can't use the loads on the roof itself to predict these things. Um, the, the zones are bigger. Uh, they're more concentrated in the corners. The edges don't matter as much. Um, the tilt of the panels makes a difference. And each one of these parameters on its own is fairly easy to understand. Uh, you know, it's easy to, to say, well, here's my row spacing, or here's my tilt, or here's where I'm placing the rows on the roof. But, um, each one of these interacts and affects the loads on the others. And so one of the complaints about the SEAC method is that it's too complex. Adding it all together, combining all these effects into one final number uh, can be time consuming and there's, there's a risk of, of error. And so I think these criticisms are valid and yet this can be solved easily. Um, you just simply need to put it into a computer. A computer can apply rules over and over and over again accurately and simply. Um, and in fact, some of the simplifications we put into SEOC were, were compromises. So there's a lot of uh, incentive to try and simplify these rules. But every time you simplify, you run the risk of making the loads higher, which we came back to that in original problem. So what we want is a really accurate representation of what came out of the tunnel. And that's what you get with Wind Lab Solar. Wind Lab Solar takes all of the rules, all of the knowledge from all of the testing, and puts it into a simple tool where you just place the array on the roof, move it into position, put the next one next to it, and it calculates um, whether that has affected the, uh, the loads, um, whether you're getting shelter from the, ra uh, the row of panels in front of you, whether the parapet is making things worse for you, um, and it tells you where on the roof you can put the array to minimize the wind loads as well. So uh, I encourage you to take a look at this tool, take it for a spin, and let us know what you think.